Okay, round four, part uh, first video um, to start, you have to um, go to your top um, left corner where you ended your green. You're going to bring your green with you so you can um, tie it in when you go along so you don't have to worry about your ends after. So we're going to insert our hook in the left top corner to um, join our our third color to it. Mine is the camo color with the light beiges in it, so it's going to contrast really nice with these dark colors. So I'm going to add, I'm going to join my color to that corner, like so. And we're going to work the corner like we did on the previous row. So you're going to do a one chain. Oops, I forgot my my green tail here, just a second. Bring my green tail around and over. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do my chain one. Okay, and I'm going to do both of these tails at the same time like I did in the row before. So I'm going to do my single crochet into this corner. All right chain two and one more single crochet in that corner space so I've worked my corner again just like the row before now we have to do seven single crochets that's what it calls for um, to end up for our first long double which is right here so don't forget this um, hidden um, space again. You have to do your first single crochet in here. So you're going to do a single crochet in there. That's one, two, three, four, Okay, so that you end up um, <coughs> above your first V stitch. Okay, because that's where you're going to do your long double crochet, and you're going to skip this single crochet that's going to be underneath it, and then you'll do your two single crochets after the long double. So, this is the same as a regular double. You're going to yarn over, you're going to um, actually, I, I missed, I got to do one more. One more um, single crochet because I only did six. There's seven. Okay, so our long double is going to be over top of the stitches in between your V stitches. All right, so we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook in the in between the first two V stitches on the first round. You're going to uh, draw up a loop. Uh, you want to do this a little on the loose side so you don't so, you're, so it's not so tight and you're going to do your double crochet like you normally would just like that okay so now you have a hidden stitch underneath that you're going to to skip okay you're not you're going to ignore that one because your double is is covering it so you're going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches And then you're going to do, um, you're ready for your next long double crochet. Okay, we're going to do that one more time and then you'll have to go to video two for the, um, when I get to the, the second corner. Okay, so yarn over, 
go in between your 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 V stitches on your first row draw up a loop make sure it's nice and loose again you're going to do your regular double crochet just like that and you're going to ignore that single crochet underneath it and do two more single crochets in the next two stitches just like so. So that's the way your pattern is going to go along this um, <clears throat> along this fourth round. You're going to have your long doubles in between your V stitches on your on your first round. You can see this lighter colored one here. It goes in between the two V stitches on your first round and you ignore the single crochet underneath it and you do two single crochets in between your long doubles. You're going to do that all the way to the other end and then you will come back to the second video for round four to see how to do that that end in that corner.